<laughs> Mrs. Osadebe, one more time I want to welcome you. The king will soon be with you. Thank you, Chief Udetibia. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Come on. You shouldn't be thanking me, Mrs. Osadebe. I should be the one showing appreciation to you for what you have done. You know, people like you are those that must be considered for shiftancy consideration. Because giving shiftancy to people like you will be a motivation to others to work hard. Like I said, the king will soon be with you. I greet you, revered king of Obodu. Oh yes, you got it. Please sit. Thank you. I am so glad that you finally made it. For the first time, a name is presented for chieftaincy considerations, and it has been approved by the generality of the members and council. Thank I you. must say congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have to get prepared because the installation will be taking place at the civic center tomorrow. Oh, yes, she is very prepared. In fact, I can say that I have not seen anybody who is as prepared as her in a very long time. As a prelude, to her installation, she has come to inform you that she is prepared. In fact, she has decided to give scholarship to 100 students of Obodupu Kingdom. Are you serious? I, I would like you to go through you. Um, I would love my name to remain anonymous and um, I'd like to give it to people at the tertiary level. Uh, between first year and final year, <laughs> hundreds of people. That is so wonderful. <laughs> and finally, when we crown you the mirror of Obudoku, even Mother Earth will rejoice. For indeed, we have made an excellent choice. <laughs> yes. she's, she's already the mirror of Obudoku. My love. Truth is ours. <laughs> not comfortable with you working with those women. I only kept quiet because I had nothing to offer. But I am glad now I have found a job for you. So, you can finally decide to leave. <laughs> My love, you don't have to bother yourself about anything. Okay? You see, you are my woman. And I am the one who must provide for you. Okay? I see us as partners in progress. I have a job for you with Dinas Communications. It's a lucrative job and you can actually start tomorrow. <laughs> My love, I do not need that job. You see, Mrs. Susadebe already registered me as a government contractor. And I know very soon, very, very soon, I will start winning big contracts. That is better than working for any man or firm for salary, don't you think so? Are you serious? Of course, yes, darling. <laughs> Your mother will be happy in her grave right now. Her son has decided to reinvent his independent-minded personality. You make me shed tears and possibly ruin my mood. When you make me remember my mother like this. It's my duty to always make you remember her and what she represented. Maybe if I had always made you remember her, you wouldn't have fallen in the hands of those, those wolves. Hey, darling. Darling, please. Don't call them names, okay? I was the one who made the mistake and I have recovered. Let us think about the future, okay? Okay. I love you, my hero. And of course, I love you too. Mrs. Briggs and uh, her friend Declan were here yesterday to see me. They were accusing me of having an affair with you. What? <laughs> What's madness? Those women are mistakes to womanhood. I must say, I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. Thank God you're out of their nest. And I promise you one thing. I will ensure I make you the man you ought to be. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma. Thank you very, very much. Okay. I'm very grateful. You know, I was in a meeting with my 
fiance yesterday and she feels I disappointed my late mother. I'm working for those women. Well, that's your private life and I wouldn't want to get involved. The good thing is you're out of it, all right? What I want you to do is to look into this contract. Um, I think you will execute it for me because my hands are full. I can't really cope. Of course, madam. I will look into it and I will execute. Thank you very much. For nothing. Thank you very much. So do I get you something to drink? Uh, maybe juice. Juice? Yes. <laughs> you're you. becoming a good boy. <laughs> juice it Thank is. You, coming your way. Thank you very much. How dare you bring this level of ridicule to me? For goodness sake, we have rules. Why did you not follow the rules? I'm sorry, Ma. I just wanted to please him so that you won't frown at me, Ma. I didn't know it was going to lead to this. I'm sorry. What do you mean you wanted to please him? It is never in our rules to sleep with a man without protection. And when you stupidly did what you did, why did you not take care of yourself immediately? I think you are called to me, ma. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, please. Oh, I want you to get rid of that bastard growing in there. I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I, I can't. Excuse me? Ma, we do respect, ma. Since you have his contacts, you can reach out to him. He, he has the right to know because he's, he's responsible for the pregnancy. How dare you? How dare you say such a silly thing before me? Get out! Get out of my house! Fool! Idiot! The truth is that we may be mad at the girl, but the man in question is a bigger fool. I don't know what you mean by that. What man in his right senses will sleep with a cold girl without protection? Hmm? The girl in question is, she's a very stupid girl. And the man himself is so irresponsible. Hmm. Exactly what I'm thinking. The man is so stupid. Honestly, I'm so upset with him now. Anyway, he's on his way to my house. And when he comes here, I will give him a piece of my mind. He's very stupid. And the most annoying part of it is that the stupid girl is insisting on keeping the pregnancy. What? She doesn't want to abort the child? What is the meaning of that? Is she mad? Of course she's mad. If not, who in their right senses would agree to do what she did without protection? What's the meaning of that? I... He's, he's, I think he's the one knocking. I'll call you back later, okay? Hello? What is it, big woman? Hey, why is your face like this? I mean... He didn't even greet me at all. I am so upset with you. Honestly, I am disappointed. Why would you have to sleep with one of my girls without protection? Lawyer no, for speak, woman. But we had a mutual agreement. I mean, the girl in question, did she say I raped her? Do you listen to yourself? Do you know what that singular act of yours can cause? That's, I don't think there's anything that singular act can cause that we cannot settle. I mean, after all, we both enjoyed it. Really? I see. Well, the girl in question is now pregnant. And she said you must own up to your responsibility. <laughs> Mrs. Briggs, you surprised me. How can a prostitute be pregnant for me? I mean, what was she even thinking? How possible? 
What would that be? And what were you thinking when you slept with her unprotected? Now, listen and listen very good. You have to compensate me to sort that girl out to avoid scandal. I expect your girls to be mature in their operations. After all, I have paid you for the services rendered. If she had gotten pregnant for some random boy, would she have insisted on keeping it? Is that question supposed to be for me? Yes. It is a question for you because the girl in question is trying to exploit me because of my good position. Is there any reason we should be having this discussion in the first place? I don't care what meaning you read to it. You messed up. You have to fix it. That useless girl. Who does she think she is? Good afternoon. I spoke to the SSA on your behalf. But he seems not to believe your story. So, I decided to give you this. Use it to sort yourself out. It's enough for your problems. I don't understand. What do you not understand? Listen, I'm just trying to be nice here. I never sent you to sleep with any man without protection. You took the decision on your own. So take this and get rid of the unwanted pregnancy before it ruins you. I can't do it because my life is at stake here. Listen, this is one million naira I'm giving you. Just take it or you go to hell. If I go to hell, we all go to hell together. I saw what transpired mm. there. And something tells me that girl is big trouble. Seriously, Lady D. That bitch out there is a list of my worries. The information I caught that that useless king of Obodoku has conferred on Mrs. Osadebe the rare title of the member of the kingdom thereby making her very relevant. That is the one that is killing me right now. Stay with me. But we need to, we need to sort this girl out. Honestly, before, before she triggers a scandal that will make us even lose the little contact we still have in the government house. So what do you have in mind? One million naira. One million. I agree it's big. But to those co girls, it's really nothing. We need to offer this girl real cash. That will make her listen. True. That will make her listen. Even the Bible wrote it somewhere that money answereth all things. But why does this girl want to be a pain in my neck? Why? That girl is indeed a problem. We really need to deal with that girl immediately before uh, before it gets too big. You see that king? I will deal with him. Even after I went as far as opening myself to him, this is what I get. What? Wait a minute. Who? You went down with the king? That's not the issue. You know what? 
You have to go to that idiot out there. Explore the option you just mentioned. Let's see how it goes. Done. Wait a minute, are you serious? So, uh, Godwin has found his bearings now to be able to buy a car for someone. Priscilla, why are you cheapening this and representing it this way? He did not just buy a car for someone. He bought the car for me. His woman. The one he wants to make his wife. Mm. So, <laughs> it means he's no more a jiggle, she? Priscilla, stop being a sadist. Mm. Why can't you just cheer up for a sister and, and stop making ridiculous remarks? Who told you he has been a gigolo? Eh, I don't need anyone to tell me that that's what he does. But congrats, my sister. Mm? At least now you'll be able to enjoy the leftovers from those vampires. <laughs> Priscilla, you're just impossible. I pray someday you find somebody you call your own before the stage is closes on you. You're just a kill joy. Why are you getting angry now? I'm just being a, a, a good friend. Eh? Confess, let's check this car very well. Are you sure it did not it's not Photoshop or because this is no it's not Nigerian this thing no? <sighs> You're welcome. Mm. Madam, are you trying to blackmail me? I don't have time for that kind of nonsense. Even your boss, the governor, knows. He knows what I can do. If I want something, I go straight to the point. What do you want me to do? Like I said, the lady in question is insisting on keeping the pregnancy. And you have to own up to it because I don't want trouble. The way she's insisting, it's obvious there's something else she's after. So I have to fix a meeting for both of you. I may do a lot of things as a politician, but I will never negotiate with a prostitute. Oh, really? Well, you can actually sleep with a prostitute unprotected. These things happen every day and it's just for fun. Why is hers different? I will give you a check to give her. Let her abort it and sort herself out. That is all I can do. Well, I don't know how much you want to give her, but already I have given her one million naira and she rejected it. You gave her one million naira and she rejected it. Mm -hmm. So what else does she want me to do? wish to tell us that I've already opened up to the people very close to me on what is happening. Do you know I am here on your invitation? I don't know what you women are planning, but if anything happens to me, my people will step in. We are not planning anything against you. Rather, we are pleading with you to terminate this thing, you're, I mean, for you to terminate the pregnancy. That's all. I mean, if you look at it, you'll see that it doesn't want it. It looks as if it's a setup. Please. All we are begging is for you to terminate this. And believe me, we will compensate you heavily. I am sorry, Lady Dickman. I cannot afford to abort this pregnancy again. I don't care if he wants the pregnancy or not. I just want him to own up to his responsibility, and that is it. But if you women will not get through the SSA for me, I will get through in myself. Did that brat 
just threaten me? Calm down. What? I need you to calm down. <laughs> we really need to look into this case very well. I believe someone is using her against us, our enemies. Are you suspecting anything? I'm thinking. You know, it was Godwin who brought in this girl. I mean, considering what Godwin has become <laughs> and the way this girl sounded. Uh -uh. I think he is using this girl to dent us for us to be kicked out from the government house. It is going to be a disaster if Godwin has a hand in this. Good afternoon, Mrs. Briggs. Mrs. Osadebe, I feel you. You know why I'm calling you. I wouldn't know. If you remember, we parted ways a long time ago. I know. Um, <clears throat> I really need you to help me. The government is, um, is on our trail. And EFCC is on our case. Please, uh, I would like you to use your contacts to help me. Why would I want to get involved in a case as complicated as yours? You were coming because oh, we were friends. I want you to still remember the bond we shared. <laughs> oh my God. So, the great woman of the Green City can actually stop the story. Oh, well, unfortunately, I have no contacts. My contacts are my good work. My good work speaks for me. And guess what? I know that I executed all the contracts given to me to the letter. We know. I know you can still help us. Please. Help you? What about all those big men you used to get girls from? Well, I'm sorry. The evidence against you is enormous. Uh, and besides, nobody will want to get involved in cases that are ready before EFCC. I'm sorry I can't help. Okay? <laughs> so sorry. Well, as you lay your bed, so you lie on it. Do have a great day. 